Hello everyone, welcome to day five, the last day of this batch of After School Club. So um, I'm delighted to have you all here today. I'm Louise, I'm the founder of Cleotic, as you might know by now. Uh, Cleotic is the first Irish brand of modelling clay. I'm based here in Dundalk and um, Cleotic is non-messy. It doesn't stick to clothes, carpet, hair. So whatever you make, you get to keep. But if you don't want to keep it, you can just put it back into the container with the lid on and you can reuse it again and again. But it's nice to be able to actually keep something that you're happy with and use it and as a little of, you know, your creative skills. So um, just to recap on last week, we did our bird. I hope it dried. And uh, now you can hang it. So it looks like a little flying bird. So I was happy with mine. Then the second little thing we made last week was our hedgehog moving mechanism. So again, I'm sure you have been playing with it, so you just pull it back and it goes. So um, again, it turned out quite good. So I just want to recap. This is our little the gallery stage of um, of all our creations that we made over the five weeks. Hello there, Sophie and James and Nora and May. Well, how are you, girls in Dundalk? Um, so again, just to show you my collection. So we had the dog. I'll hold them up. Actually, we had the dog. We had the little house, the bird house, hedgehog, our Venus flytrap, our pencil, the little walking tree with the birds and apples. So. I hope you are happy with all your creations so far. I'm just going to set them aside because we don't want to be distracted. And today we're going to make a little, hold on, hold on, hold on, drum roll please, a little frog magnet. That's one of our activities. So frog magnet number one. And on the count of Valentine's coming up, we're going to do a little love heart bear. So a version of those two. Now, I'm just going to leave that this there and that. So I just want to go through, obviously, what we need again today. So we need the two packs marked um, five, week five. So they're the color combinations. There's a magnet in one. And we have the eyes and the red and silver. You may have gold, but it doesn't matter. And we obviously need this pack here. So again, I was just looking there. I didn't actually use too much of my color combinations and I've been doing it the same as you have obviously week on week. You may have used a little bit more for the hedgehog and a few other characters, but you should have some of the colors left. So we can utilize that in our frog and on our card. So just be mindful of that. We always have that at hand. <clears throat> Sorry. The next thing I was going to say, um, with Cleotic, um, usually it does kind of stick to card, but if it doesn't, um, I don't have any water just currently here in the studio, but if you have a tiny little bit of water for later on, if it's not sticking, just dab the back and it'll stick nicely to the card. So just, just be mindful of that. If it, if it doesn't stick, don't panic, just a little bit of water. But you know, mams out there and dads, that water and devices and technology don't really mix so tiny bits and keep them maybe away from the, the screens, okay? So let's get lean. Now we're going to go through the shapes again, as we always do. So I'm going to we're going to start off with our frog. So we'll open that up and take the green because it's the larger amount. Take the green out, and I'm going to put the rest back. You know, the way it layer dry. So we're just going to put that back. And I've, I've, I've supplied that little tool there. We might do the frog, and in the flower as well so we just keep that aside for the time being but we're going to go through our basic shapes i'm going to bring my screen down so you just see them my hands and um again these are all very welcome i hope you enjoy so make a really good effort out there now boys and girls for the last day so we want to see brilliant models so we're going to go stretching and we're folding because um i'm here in dog and it's a little bit cold here today so again it just uh, we just want to warm up the clay so over and back over and back Okay, so Maeve and Nora, can you tell me out there what shape you think we're going to make first? What do you think? I think I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, a ball. Great. So I'm going to do it in the palm of my hands, but you can do it on the table, whatever way you feel comfortable. 
either way it's fine as i said we're just trying to look to get as wrinkle free as you physically can so we're going to hold up the ball good girl well done girls Nora and me well done with the ball yes hold it up fantastic Let's see how good you have come on for the five weeks so the next shape then is a droplet yes very good i heard you sophie and james in dublin there so we're going to go over and back like this over and back over and back and then remember it's a it's a fat bottom and a skinnier top and i'm just going to show you the two ways i sometimes do it i'm not 100 percent happy in the palm of your hands again so up like that the droplet fantastic now the final and the most simplest shape is a I hear you is a sausage. Fantastic. So over and back, over and back, over and back. So again, you know now that it's three shapes you need to know to make anything from chaotic. So once you know them, everything and anything can be made. OK, so let's get started now with our frog. So again, um, I'm just going to get rid of that for a moment. But see his little body. I may turn him back, his little bum to you or whatever so look at that's the shape there we're going to concentrate just think about that's the droplet okay so we're going to take enough clay away so we'll just see um i'm going to take around let me just i'm going to just show you so around that amount okay because you want you basically want this enough for heads legs and arms that's the amount so the body you want it around that amount just try and think, because these will be good now with dimensions after your five weeks. So that's the kind of size we're going to go with. Yeah, perfect. So we're going to roll it into a ball first, as we always, always do. And I'm doing it on the table now, just because I feel it more comfortable just at the moment with it. And again, mine's a little bit wrinkly, so I'm going to do it again. So a ball. OK, and then we're going to do the droplet for the little body. So over and back, over and back. And remember, this is going to be a magnet, boys and girls. So you want it, you want it to be flat ish. You don't want, it's not going to be 3D. It's kind of going to be 2D, but raised up. OK, so something like that for the little body. I'm going to hold it up. OK, and obviously that's where the little head will go. And that's where the little legs will be attached on. So the fat part is basically his little bum bum. OK. Now, I'm just going to, when we're at this stage, I'm going to nip a tiny little bit of green away, okay? Tiny little bit of green away, and we're going to mix it with the yellow that came in your pack. And we're going to blend and fold. Remember, blend and fold, and just make a different shade of green. So again, as I said, you're learning about colour theory, which is great. So you're just going to mix a tiny bit. No, so it's around this amount, look at, of the yellow for his belly. And we're going to mix with the green and we're going to stretch and fold, stretch and fold over and back, over and back, over and back like this. So you can see it already intermingling and you can see the way it kind of goes marbly and then it'll go a lovely shade of kind of limey green, I suppose you'd call that, isn't it? I'm just going to put my lids on just so I remember that. Yeah. Like that. So that's nice, isn't it? Are we all doing okay? Good, 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 good. So again, into the ball. And then a little droplet. So it's a flattened droplet. Now we've done this a few times throughout the, the club. So you should be able to, to do that yourself. So you have the droplet and then you flatten it. Just so it's like that. Okay, and then remember, so the pointy bit of the flatten, whoops, can hear my hand there. Um, the flattened bit, the, the, the skinnier bit goes to the neck, it's like that and like that. And you're going to press it in and make it nice and flat. Okay, and then just again, we're going to get this tool here that I use quite a lot, as you know, with this tool and this side, and you're going to make your little lines in it. that okay so look at how much we've done so far so that's the body almost done now the next stage we're going to do we're going to do the legs okay so i'm going to take around this amount so the legs are skinny so we'll just be mindful of that so we're going to go with an amount around this size and you're going to roll it into a long sausage so into the ball and then the sausage 
and we're going to obviously it's got two legs so we're going to half it remember i said if you're looking for legs or arms always oh, start off with a large amount and divide it into two so they'd be equal so try and think where the halfway mark is and then just like that okay so they're equal quantities of green now so I'm just going to do when we have we're happy with the little sausage and the length, you put it underneath like that, see, and you stick it out and then you up and down like that. And again, remember there's a stretch and chaotic, so you can pull it out. I'm just going to face it to me first and then I'll come back to you. So it's under, up, and then down. Like that. Yeah. Good. So, and then we're going to do the little, um, the little feet, the, yeah, the little feet of the frog. And there, I'm going to stick with three little feet as I did with mine there. So one, two, and three on each side. So we're going to again nip a small little bit away. So something like that, nothing too big, because we have to be mindful that we're using this for the head as well. So around that amount, okay, and again into a ball, divide it into two, divide it into two. So each of them are for each leg, so like that and that. And then you're going to divide them into three. So it's three, one, two, three. And look, if they're different sizes, it doesn't matter because um, the little toes will be different sizes, as you know. So one, two, three. So you have six little sli um, slices there, and you're going to roll them into balls and then little droplets. But again, you have lovely little small hands, I'm sure, so you'd be well able for this. So one, two, three. Next one, oops, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so they're like little droplets basically. Now I'm going to just put the little foot a little bit more like that, and then we're going to attach on underneath. So I'll just show you what I'm doing there. See this one, and then we're going to go for the other one two and then three like that okay and then the other side i just want to take it just to me for one minute and then i'll show it to you and i'm completed so one two and three and if you have a small medium and large just place it in that kind of order again we're looking for to be able to learn and to have developed her skills over the five weeks so again we're just going to look at, it, at him yeah actually he's looking good it's like that yeah happy john o'brien hello there is that i i can't really see yeah oh, very good like that now so we have the legs we have the body we have the little belly done so we're doing good very good now so with the green that we have left, we're going to just again stretch it and fold it, stretch it and fold it. OK, and I'm going to just take a small little bit away again, if you don't mind, just take a very small little bit because we're going to might add little um, spots to them. And again, I think it'd be nice if you can have a similar color to the belly, to the belly, flattened belly. So we're going to take a tiny bit of the green away, just tiny. Don't you waste too much. You want a big head. So I'll put his little body away, keep that little bit away and then I'm going to roll into the ball. So nice and carefully roll it into the ball, wrinkle free as possible as you can. And then, so when we have the ball done, then we're going to roll over and back and roll it into a, a thick enough little sausage. So something like that. Yeah. I'm going to hold it up again. Yeah, simple. Now, again, getting back to this tool, we're going to use this tool and the smooth side for his little mouth. So do his mouth um, not less than halfway. So like that, look, you can decide yourself. I'm just not doing it exactly half, I'm going a little bit lower. So like a mouth, all over, all over. See the way I'm rolling over and back like that, over and back, you want a good indent. So like that. Now, Flatten it a little bit and just want to see how it looks. Yeah, it's looking actually very good in proportion to the head. If it's yours is bigger or smaller, it doesn't matter. All they're all characters. 
and animated characters can be a variety of shapes. Okay. So then with the little green that we've taken off, I'm going to get go back to the yellow and we're going to mix and we're going to stretch and we're going to fold. Okay. So I'm going to take so take around that amount of it. Okay. And we're going to stretch and fold again. Just so that it's, it's, it's a variation of the green. It's a lighter green. Because you know the way the little toads and frogs have kind of different little bumps on their skin. So that's what we're trying to copy or trying to emulate. Now over and back like this. Um, when I was in junior cert, I made a frog for my clay project. It's, my mum has it still, like in Cavan, from Cavan originally. And um, she still has it. So that's around 25 years ago. So I do, I like that the frog's a good character. So over and back like this, over and back. Now, and then we're going to do a few little, as I said, little polka dots all around the little frog. So let's just see, I'm going to take, they don't have to be that, not too big now. So look at, look at my finger, I'm going to show you. So nothing too huge, Well, sometimes we get carried away and it just gets um, too busy. So something like that size into a ball, flatten it, into a ball, flatten it. And we'll just leave them there just so we can decide where we want to position them later, okay? So all balls flattened. So I've got three. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five on the face, I think. One, two, three, four, five on the face, yeah. Okay. Now, with the little tool that was included with that kit, which if I can find it, is a little plastic kind of toothpick, you can actually use it. Okay, this is a very good thing to use. I use these quite a lot um, in my work. So you just pick it up like that and then just put it, position it on. Okay. And then pick it up like that and position it on. And the hole in the middle actually adds to it. So don't worry, you know, that's a good point. Like that and like that. So we're adding on. The little flatten balls like that, like that, and try and keep it symmetrical. Remember, we said kind of sometimes um, in design, if things are symmetrical, they're more easy to look at. They're more um, just an easier um, look, more professional. So look, at, I'm going to just put that like that and like that. Are we happy with that? I still more have more of this nice green. So I'm going to do a couple of little. Um, dots on the side of his body here and the side of his little body here i might do teeny weeny ones in his legs as i said we don't want to get too carried away so i'm going to do three on that side three on that side for now anyway so obviously you can be doing uh, your own version and you can take more time or whatever but i'm just going to do three i think for now one two three see the way you have to go very tiny one, two, and three. Okay, and then we get our tool again and we pick it up with the pointy edge, flatten it and then pick it up. Sorry, flatten, 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 whoa, flatten and flatten like that. Okay, so I'm going to just use my tool and then put it on. So like that, and like that. I'm going to put one just down there as well, kind of a little belly button, and then one over here, and one over there. Remember, this is a magnet, so we won't see his little back, so we'll not worry too much about the back. Sometimes the kids always want to do the back, but we'll just leave it for now, and we'll do tiny little bits on the legs. I'm going to go smaller again. Again, I'm going to just turn that around to me to make sure he's looking good. He's actually looking very good. Yeah. Now, so in the pack, actually, you should have had um, more green. So we're going to utilize that. And we're going to make the little arms next. Two, I'm going to stick these onto his little legs. One. So into the balls. So we have the, the, the decoration on his face, on his body, and now we're just doing the legs. And then the arms. Now, the green in this one here, if you have green left over, use it. But I, I accidentally, I, I use mine all. So we can just use a bit of the green that's left in this. 
it's a different color but i'm just going to quickly mix it again see with chaotic you know if you haven't got the right shade you can mix it up quickly just with a bit of um yellow and green and mix and then we should get more little arms as well so over and back over and back i'm going to take more of that yellow out because um we, the yellow is going to be used for the flower, so we don't need a huge deal of it. So I'm just going to mix it up. Like that. Okay. Now, we're not going to add any spots onto the arms because we're not going to see it. Because if you see there, he's holding the little flower, so it doesn't really matter anyway. So I'm just going to into memory again I get a larger bit of green and then divide it into two to get equal amount for the arms so like that and like that see the little arms are, are, will be shorter than the legs so you don't need that amount great amount so like that and that I'm just gonna put that inside Oops. and then again we're going to do a three little droplets for our fingers so again i'm going to use i'll just show you now one two three so little bits around that so again it's tiny it's maybe smaller than the feet so like that so three droplets one two three okay and then i'm going to put that away so these are the little rescue packs as well because sometimes if you know you just overlook and um, things you can still always dive into that and you should have some of the um the intro pack maybe left so you can practice what we've been making over the weeks as well so three little droplets two oops three okay so we're just going to keep them out for a minute just don't attach them on from we're going to attach the arms on so look at the arms go up here so look at at the side so they're going to be oh because he's going to be holding a little flower I'm just going to hold it like that and hold it like that. I'm going to hold it like this. Okay. You. Now. Yeah, I'm going to do, before we attach our fingers on, just keep the fingers to the side and then we're going to do a little flower. So the flower I did, if you look here, it's very simple. It's like a version of, a tiny version of our pencil topper that we made um, and I think it was day two so obviously it has a little bit of a yellow in center and then you can decide if you have colors left in your intro pack what colors you want to do the petal so I'm going to just take around this amount of the yellow so look at small amounts of the yellow roll it into a ball flatten it and then again just to give it a more realistic um, look I'm going to use this tool again and we're going to indent it or little, little holes. It's just to give the illusion of the center of a flower. You know, the daisy is all little poppy holes like this. So nice and pressurized. Because you know with chaotic, it, it almost bounces out. So look at just like that. In, 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 in. Like that. So I hope you are all doing okay. Nora and Maeve and Sophia and James. Hope everybody's okay there. Like that. I'll show you that. Okay, so that's what we're doing. And then we're going to do, let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight little balls for the petals. So again, you choose whatever color you have left. I might go with, I've got just purple here at the top, so I'm just going to go with that purple. So I'm using my purple. So eight. So then remember a large amount, roll it into um, a sausage and then divide it into eight equal parts. Let me see that. Let's see that would be enough. I mean that amount. Okay, you can go bigger or smaller, but don't go too huge because you want to be able to see the the frog itself. Okay. Now, just roll it into the sausage. See what I'm doing here, and then into eight. So that's two. That's four. Oops, four, so half again. And that's going to be four, half again. It's going to be eight. So each one of them again is halved, and that's eight. 
Okay, so they roll them into a ball and then join them up around the little center piece. Okay, so one, I'm going to do it, two. The purple and the yellow look great together, isn't it? One, two, three. Something like that, and then attach them on four. I'll just show you what I've done so far. Oops, it's jumped into my computer. I'm going to hold it onto this here. Yep, four. Five. Six. Seven. And that's eight. Okay, and if... Yeah, that's and mine's actually worked out very good in the sense that they're just enough. Okay, so something like that. So he's going to be the little obviously the little frog is holding it, so we're going to hold it like that to that. So look at and then we're going to put the the hands on it. So if he's really holding it, so that's why we didn't attach the sorry, the little fingers. Okay, so is it that? Then you get your three little droplets and you put them onto it. One, two, three. So it's just easier and it looks more realistic. Oh God. Okay. I'm going to do the other side. I'm just going to get rid of my one I've made earlier and use, use this because this is a good trade to be able to show you what I'm doing. So I'll just hold it up to me and then I'll hold it up to you. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. So. Now, so flower the little. These are what I was, I was telling you to do. To put them kind of at the side and then wrap it over. So as if, if he's actually holding something. So that's a nice little tip for you as well. Okay. Side. This side. So we happy? Great, okay. So what are we to do next? We have the flower, we have the hands, all that is done. We need to do the little eyes. So in the pack as well from last week, you would have got brown. Not from when I sent it out to you. Yeah, so you would have got brown. So I'm gonna do big, big googly eyes. So the frogs usually do have big, big googly eyes, don't they? So again, you take a larger bit of, well, you take around this amount. Use now no kind of proportion wise, but I want to have this weak eye to have googly eyes. So I'm going to go around that amount and we're going to divide that into two. So into two. Okay. And then you're going to roll it into a ball. And roll the other one into a ball. So two little balls for the eyes. And then we're going to <clears throat> use this tool here. I call this my eye socket tool. So the larger one I think we're going to use and we're going to indent where we want to put our eyes. So I'm going to put mine on the top of my head. So if you look there, I'm just going to hold it and push in, push in, push in, push in like that. So I'm going to stick the little eye on there and stick the little eye on. Well, it's big eyes actually, aren't they? Big eyes like that. Okay, and then we all know now that we need the black in the centre of the eye just to give it life, don't we? Yeah, so I have still black from last week or from the five weeks, so I've got quite a bit. I hope you have. If you don't, it's not the end of the world. You could use white. It's 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 okay. So look at again. Look at tiny, I mean tiny amount and divide that into two. So it's the pupil of the eye that this is. So a ball and then divide it into two like that. Okay, roll it into a ball, like that, and then stick it on, roll into a ball, flatten, like that, stick it on. Yeah, and then for any of you that have, you should have, I haven't used any much of my white this session, or these sessions, so just get a tiny little bit of white, remember, because I know boys and girls, you love to go mad with the, with the eyes, but just go tiny for a little amount of white, and divide that into two, so I'm going to do it on the black, so hopefully it'll be more um, obvious, and then cut it into two, two little balls, and that's going to be the sparkle of this little frog's eye. Whoops, it's so tiny it actually jumped back in, but I can I can find it. Mm. 
Um, and then the other one, like that. Okay, so there are the eyes. Let me see, let me see. Yeah, actually that's looking really, really good. So I might just, um, just for the eyes to stand out that little bit more, I'm actually going to use some of this black. So I'm just going to use a bit of the black. As I said, you should have the same amount as me. So take around this amount out and roll into a sausage. Into a sausage around that length, can you see there? And we're just going to outline the eye. So over. No, I might just have to stretch a little bit. Over, over, over. And I'm going to just cut it at the back, at the side. So bear with me, just, just a little bit of victory. Like that, and like that. So it's, I just put it in my hand so you can see the difference, yeah? So again, that just gives it an extra little bit of finish, doesn't it? Just gives it a little bit more um, professional look to it. Okay. Now, I'm just checking time there. So that's good. And then the next thing we're going to do is get our magnet. So obviously the magnet and then peel off the back, peel off the back of the magnet strip if I can. Sorry, I didn't mind it's sticky there. So like that and it peels off and then you're going to stick it to the fattest part or to the widest part. So I'm going to stick it up, up to the top of his little head like that. Now. So there we have a frog magnet. I'm just going to put them there. And hold them up to you now. You just have to just make sure it's nice and complete. Yeah, so I'm pleased with him. Yeah, I do like him now, I must say. So I'm going to set him aside. And um, I just want to start. I'm just going to put my screen up for one minute because I'm hard, it's hard to see my time. Okay, well, that's worked out very well. That's the half hour. So then the next thing you need to get ready is the card. So you just have the card out and get our tubs out that we that correspond to that. So that's obviously that one there, the red and the silver. I'm going to open this up. That up. Okay, so I put it back down now. Great, we're doing good. We're doing very good. Hope you're happy. Yeah, hopefully. Now, so we're going to get the red. So I'm just going to blend, stretch, and fold my red just for a little minute, just so to make it more again more pliable. So my idea for this obviously is Valentine's fast approaching, so you can um give this to whoever you want for Valentine's Day. So I just kept kind of with the theme of nature. It's kind of like a little bear, a little love heart bear. So we're going to stretch and fold here as well. Now, the only thing we have to be a little bit mindful with this character are because the eyes, I would have supplied eyes. I'm hoping you, even if I didn't, you can make your own. But these eyes um, are with this pack. So you want to kind of do a little head that will cover that will, will keep the eyes if you know what I mean that it'll, it'll be big enough that the eyes will stick into so I'm just trying to think here um like this and like this let me just see yeah perfect yeah so then the head is going to be around this size yeah and then the body this side so this this and a little bit like that yeah, okay. So a bigger bit for the head, smaller, medium bit for the body, and small bits for the legs and arms. So we're looking like something like that. Head, body, arms and legs. And then we have the eyes, okay? So again, we're going to start off. We'll start off with the head. So I'm putting these little bits just to the side just so it doesn't air dry. So again, for the little body, or sorry, the little head of the bear, we're going to roll into a ball. Into a ball, nice and simply into a ball. Oh, I made a mistake. No, no, go ahead, please go ahead, sorry, please go ahead. Yeah, that's fine, go ahead, yeah, we're into a ball. Now, 
and we're going to flatten it again because again this is mounted on card so it's not a 3d it's more of a 2d so something like that and then just that's what i was, I was just realized what, was, what i didn't tell you is just take a tiny little bit of the red for the ears so a small little bit i mean that little bit so it's not anything major and then into a ball and divide into two for two ears because obviously the little bear will have two ears so into a ball and they're going to be the two ears so attach the little ears on like that into a ball and flatten it so it's simple it's very very simple like this and like this okay the heads on see how simple that was now we'll put in our eyes because our eyes are literally a big feature so we're going to put in our eyes i'm going to go there and there so in and in this is right one minute in you and in you so you want to give it um the illusion of like a teddy bear that's made so again using this tool here the, with the serrated edge you just go from the top of the head down to the eyes like that. So as if he's kind of, you know, assembled, as if he's sewn together. You just want to give the illusion that he's actually a little sewn bear. Okay. And then still keeping with this tool for the ears, just indent a little hole, a little slice in the middle of his ears. Again, just to give it the illusion of um, ears and that they're kind of made like that. Yep. Yeah. So then we're going to go on to the little, this part here. This little snouty part, I suppose. So we're going to go white and then just, yeah, just get a little bit of white first. So from our pack. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to go with around this amount. So nothing too big, nothing too big, around that amount, okay? And we're going to roll it into a ball. And then we're kind of we're going to make it into a slight sausage over and back like that. So a little like a little, you know, little teddy bear snout kind of. There's my jumping. Now, so then in into the underneath the eyes. So it's like that. Ears done, eyes and snouty section. Okay, so we're doing good. Now, just before we stick on the nose, we're going to use again this tool here. Let's close it lid. We're going to use this tool here and we're going to indent or sorry we're going to yeah indent with the serrated edge again just continuing on so like that don't know if you can see it but it's just again to follow to give the illusion that he's a man-made or a handmade little teddy bear okay and then we're going to get our teeniest little bit of black and make his little nose so that's simple as well tiny little nose I mean this amount so nothing too big, nothing too small, like that amount, and into a ball, and then attach it on. Okay, so see how lucky, how much he looks like a bear already. Yeah, very good. I'm loving what you're doing out there. That is really good work. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is the body. So again, from like the frog, basically it's going to be a droplet. So I'm just going to think around this amount that amount again you had it kind of sectioned off originally so keep with the amount that you had for the body so again into a ball and then a droplet now and then yeah we do good girl Nora and Maeve yeah you said flatten it you're right flatten it i am flatten it there okay and then we're going to attach it well no just don't attach it on just yet just yet just yet just a little um i just want to see something like that and like that yeah and my card i have to be mindful of my card because i i know there's different shapes and sizes of cards i sent out but mine i have just at hand is this one here so i just want to just kind of see how it's going to stick okay like that and that yeah so i'm going to put pressure on my card now i may need to get water so just don't panic if it doesn't stick and you just press on it gently okay so put the head on and the body like that okay 
So you will have access, I'm sure, to water at some stage um, later on, so you can do that. So just be mindful, the head is on, the body's on. Now, I'm not going to, usually I would give the bear a little, little book belly like I did the frog but because the heart is going to be covering it I don't think it's really necessary yeah we're happy enough not doing that but we're going to go on to the legs now so remember take out a larger bit of the clay of red so around this amount again nothing too huge yeah and then divide it into two I'm going to move these this other card out of the way so into a ball and then divide it into two and then the two equal sausages that's going to be sorry that's for the two legs so into a sausage for one into sausage for another okay and what you can do now just to make the feet this is a little tip so with the two sausages go to the near end so let me just hold it up here so look at I have my sausage done there. So then you just in using this tool again with the smooth side, insert it like that, and then lift up the little leg. So it just gives the illusion of a little standing leg. If I show you, that's how it would look. Okay, so do that for the other side as well. So I might just do that again. So you have the other leg, you have a lovely sausage made, get your tool go to the near bottom, slice it, and then lift it up. And that gives a little illusion of a uh, little teddy bear kind of leg. See what I'm doing? That's a good tip for other for future um, model making as well. Now I'm going to put that in. And that in there as well. Okay. So we happy enough with that? So that he should look like something like that. Good. Now, for the little arm, so it's on a kind of similar thing like the little frog, the way we did our arms. So we're going to keep, I'm going to think use, um, I might use a little bit less. So keep a little bit for the, for the hands. So take enough away for two arms. So I would say around that amount. Okay, and keep very small amount for the, hands yeah and then into a ball cut it in two and that's going to be two sausages for the two arms two sausages for the two arms we're not going to touch the arms just yet because we're going to make our heart because it'll be easier to do it afterwards as opposed to now okay so arms done arms done and we're just going to leave that. We'll work on our fingers after we do our heart. So that's just a little, we'll set them aside, not worry about that, and then go on to the heart. So some of you may have got gold. My kit here has silver. It doesn't matter. It's just, it's you know, it doesn't matter. So we're going to learn how to make a heart. So I'm just conscious of the amount of clay we're going to use. Yeah, well, I'm going to do quite a substantial one because... Um, obviously the fact is it's Valentine's you want to illustrate that it is a big heart so use your, your silver roll it into a ball okay and then keep a little bit of silver side we might do something with that later so in uh, into a ball and then a droplet okay and then you're going to flatten your droplet, flatten it. So it's a ball, a droplet, flatten it. Okay. And then we're going to get this tool again. Remember the slice? And I'm going to just do this on this template here. Take that. So everybody should have that something like that done. And then you're going to get your tool and you're going to in bring it down. Bring it down like that. So like this, like this, like this, like that. I'm just going to, hold on. So there's a little much more of a bounce in the silver clay, so just be mindful of that when you're doing it. But so like that, okay? Yeah, everybody doing good? Great, they look brilliant, those hearts, fantastic. Now you want to outline the heart just because it just kind of, it might just be that obvious that it is a heart. Again, I'm going to take, 
Um, I think I'm going to go with black for the outline. What I mean by the outline is this here, this here section. I'm going to outline that, okay? And maybe I'll go purple. I just have the purple. It might be nicer. I'm going to go purple and a big long sausage, and then we outline the heart. So open back like this into a bowl, into a sausage. And then wrap it around the heart to give it the illusion. Now, so start at the tip of it, see the in the middle, and then up, like you draw the little hearts, up, up, up like that, down, it's a peak there, the little peak up, and then round like that. Okay, so I'm going to show you that. So something like that. I'm going to hold it there just to make it more obvious. Bring So this now. Yeah. Something like that, everybody. Okay. But I just don't stick it on just yet, please, because um I want to do a little scarf for my little character as well. Because I yeah. Okay. So I'm going to give my little bear um a little scarf as well. So again, whatever color combinations you're happy to go with, if you have greens, if you have two of any colors left over use them. So I'm going to go green and I'm going to go, I've got an, hopefully an orange because the, the, again, they're secondary colors and they look good together. So green and orange, I'm going to choose to do the scarf. So we did this, we didn't do a scarf in this batch of um, after school club, we did it in the Christmas camp, but we're going to just get two little bits of orange and green, equal amounts, roll them into sausages and then intertwine them. So I'm just gonna set my heart aside for the moment. So sausage of green, a sausage of orange, and you just relax when you have that done. So I'll show you what we do next. So orange and green, like this. Okay. And then once you have the orange and green, this is sausage around that size, nothing too major, nothing too big. You're going to put them together. So look the way I have mine. It's stuck together like that. And then you're going to intertwine them. So it's a little scarf for the teddy bear we're making. So we're going to twist, twist, and twist to make sure that um, it all intermingles like that. And then when you're happy with that, you roll it together so the bonds like that. See, it looks like a scarf, doesn't it? Only the fact is it's too circular. It's too roundy. So you want to flatten it. So that's simple. Just use your palm, your hand or a tool and just flatten it. OK, so it should be something like that. I'm going to hold it up there. Something like that. And then we're going to just cut the edges. I'm just cutting out just so that they're straighter. I'm just going to gauge what way I need to. Yeah, mine's looking good. And see at the little very end. So you know the way when you wear your winter scarf, you have little um, tassels at the bottom. Well, I suppose actually they're not tassels, they're little strings. So I'm just going to put little indents there to illustrate as if it's like a real life scarf. Again, the more kind of detail you get, the more um, it's just more professional and more unique it is. So one like that, like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to see what I need to do. So for the scarf, then we're going to put from one side. See the way I'm using that? From one side of his neck to the other. And then with the tool, look at the tool. I'm going to just kind of slice it. Well, not slice it, but just to illustrate where the one end of the scarf is to the other and then twist it down it's going to be like that yeah for sure you're well able now to be able to decide where your little scarf hangs so you don't need much help with that so, sure. so that's my little scarf there okay now so we have the scarf done we're looking good we have the little legs the body now we're going to position our little heart someplace around there. 
And then that's why we didn't want to add on the heart just yet. We're going to go with our arms like this and our arm like this. So we're going to hold it up there. So just to give the illusion that the little bear is actually holding up the heart. Yeah. See the way I'm doing it there? Great. And then you're going to do, we'll just do, will you do five or three? Three, maybe we'll go, go five little droplets if you can on each hand. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to put that in. So five. So all these are going to be the little fingers for the teddy bear. One, two, three. Four and five. So it's going to be one side, and you're going to do the other side. One, two, three, four. So they're very small. So let me see. Three, four. No, I think that's, I've got enough there anyway. Okay, so then I'm just going to again, hold it up and I'll show you what we do. We're going to pretend that he's holding it. So the little fingers are kind of on like that. One, two, like this, two, three, maybe three was enough. Look, if you're happy with three, stick with three. There's mine with three, it looks okay. I'm going to go to the other side. Like that, and then two and three. Okay, let, just let me look at this here because I just can't really see what I'm demonstrating there. So it's three. Yeah, I'm going to just stick with four because um, I think five for me is too much, but you may have bigger hearts. If you have smaller heart or a bigger heart, just adapt accordingly. Now, so something like that. He's looking good, isn't he? So I just want to see now, the feet are done, the legs are done, the little head and the ears, the little nose. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. And the only other thing is just to give it a little bit of um, an outline on the ears. So I'm going to use a little bit of black. So I might just give it a little bit of definition. See the little ears here? I'm going to do two little sausages and wrap them over the ear again. So into a ball, divide it into two and then do the two little sausages. Let's see that. Let me do my little longer. So around that size, around that size. Okay, I'm gonna have it like that, and this other side. And then just wrap them around, nice and carefully. Don't go too mad. So from one side of the ear to the other. Like that, and the other one. And we're going to do it. That's this. This is if you have any black left. But I'm going to just do the corresponding, um, just for the feet as well. So it just kind of gives it a more um, complete finish. On the other side, like that. Okay, and then the little feet. So sorry, hold that up to us now. Happy. He's looking good, isn't he? He's looking very good. So then just for the feet as well, two little sausages to outline the feet. Just one. So around a bit of black that amount. Uh, up, up and over. Just going to put it there. And 
to the other side. So you see it gives a balance because you when you look at the top of the ears, you see the black and then you see the, the black of the feet. The only problem with this um, little card is you may need to make your own envelope if you're sending it to anybody because it's so big. And remember to keep it, um, don't send it tomorrow. Keep it for a few days before you decide who you're going to send it to because it, it'll get squished in the post if it's not hard. Now, so look at that. Yeah, I'm liking him. I think he's very good, actually. So that completes our session for today and the session for for this term. So I was delighted to have you all on board. I really appreciated your support throughout. Thanks again. Um, I just want to get my hold of my little other character there. So let me put him on. So da da number. So again, it's a magnet. So don't don't attach it to your fridge or whatever until it's hard because it'll just all collapse. You want to keep it for a few days and then attach it to wherever you want to. So that's one, and then our other little character there. And so again, girls and boys out there, you need to get a little bit of water to stick it on, okay? Or if you've glue, even I don't know if even PBA is really good. Okay, so again, um, I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed my five weeks. I learned a lot as well. And thanks again for posting up the photographs on my, um, sending me the photographs of the end product. I just love it. I love seeing them. And again, as I say, they always give me inspiration. So if you'd like to continue to do that, I'd really love that. And um, you can even post on my Facebook as well, the pictures. We have a private members club, but if you want to do that, you can just put it into my regular Cleotic page. Um, just a little reminder that I am running the midterm camps from the 15th of February to the 19th. It's a five day, five mornings for one hour. And the theme is mythological. So um, I'm sending up my packs uh, midterm. Very good. Thanks, Alva. Thank you very much. Um, I'm sending up my packs today, actually. Um, but you have next week to go. Any, if any of you are interested, please do not hesitate to... Um, to book okay i'll send you out the link again if to help you and um, just so it's easier process but listen john thank you very much john john o'brien very good and um, thanks so much for all your support and stay safe that's the main thing isn't it so all the best so hopefully i'll see some of you over the midterm break we're taking a break anywhere from for next week and i'll be running new after school clubs in late um february okay when we get all sorted so stay well and stay safe extra kisses for tonight being the last night so bye 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 oh, kira very good okay kira sorry I, I called you by your dad's name thank you kira for participating i'll see you at the midterm okay bye